Alrighty, hi IED. Um, I'm about to show you how to make a window that looks kind of like this uh, to insert into a uh, room, your room like this. All right. Um, now caveat, uh, what I'm going to show you is just some way I devised of creating a window um, for this project because of certain skills I want to teach you. This isn't necessarily the best way to or the right way to make a window um, in you know some kind of CAD environment, uh, especially if you're doing like architecture or so stuff like that. Um, so with that caveat in mind, um, let's start a new file. All right, and uh, the first thing you could do uh, with your file is of course name it. All right, and I've already got a couple window files, so I'm going to call this uh, Window 3.0. All right, um, and it's good to keep your name in there as well. When you do that. Uh, so click, make sure it's in the Room Project folder, and then click Save. Um, all right, so uh, I need to create a sketch here, right? So I'm going to go create sketch. I want to use this plane here, or face. And um, <clears throat> the way we'll do this is we'll take a rectangle, start it at the origin. And um, we're just going to type in the blue box there 50 for our height. Hit the tab key, uh, and then we'll hit 40 for our width. Enter. All right, this is assuming you're using inches as your units. All right, if you are not, uh, you should check my other video about how to do that. All right, so we've got um, kind of this frame, and uh, from this, we're going to actually use a cool tool uh, called the offset tool. Um, so that'll let us essentially make it a frame. All right, so you see how I'm dragging in? Um, I'm just going to change this number to be 1. And there we go. All right, so we've got the kind of outside frame for our window. Um, so I'm going to click Finish Sketch. I want to go at an angle because what I'm going to do next is going to be 3D, and I want to make sure it's it's doing it right. All right, so I always like to look at an angle for these things. Uh, so I want to do an extrusion, except with what I'm going to show you, we're going to do a different kind of extrusion. Uh, we're going to do a two-sided, or a symmetric, actually symmetric extrusion. So click that. And for distance, um, it's going to take this distance and go that far away on both sides. All right, so I want this to be two inches wide in the end, so that means I need to go one inch in both directions. All right, so I put one, um, and I do want this to be a new body, and I'm just going to say, okay. All right, um, so good, I've got the frame. Uh, next, what I'm going to do here is add the glass, okay? So, um, to do that, uh, and we are going to make that a new body. Uh, so let me review that real quick. Uh, right, so to do that, um, we're going to uh, make a new component within this file. So we're going to go to Create, New Component. It's at the very top. All right, and um, looking over here, <clears throat> um, we're going to change the name to be Glass, because that's what this is going to be. Um, and, yeah, the other things are fine, so just click OK. All right, and we've got our new component, and it activated it. All right, that was one of the settings I left on there. So you can see this is activated, and this is no longer activated. All right, um, so we need to make a sketch inside here now. All right, so we'll go to Create Sketch, and again, we'll pick that same plane there. All right, and for this, again, we'll do a rectangle. Start it at the exact same spot as the other and end it at the same spot as the other. All right, so are you done with that? Click Finish Sketch. And we're going to um, extrude this. We're gonna go backwards, all right? So um, it's calling that positive, so that's fine. But this is going to be 3 30 seconds of an inch, all right? So 3 30 seconds of an inch, all right? Uh, now you might run into a problem where, depending on how you started, um, it thinks that this is Back, like negative instead, or it needs to be negative. So if you do that, it's not going to work unless you um, put that in parentheses, like so. Um, you might even need to put, you know, times one uh, inch, and then it'll work, all right? But this went the wrong direction from what I wanted, so I need to just edit the feature. So I right-clicked on there, edit feature, and I'm going to change this to just be 330 seconds of an inch. Uh, that is the normal like width of glass, okay, uh, for windows and stuff, apparently. All right, so great, I've got that extrusion. Um, now, problem is, I don't want it to be, um, you know, this chunky gray material. So, um, I'm going to change the material. 
All right, so I'm going to go to modify, and we're going to do a couple things here. Uh, physical material. Uh, it can be a little awkward to do this, all right, so follow this carefully. Uh, we want to pick glass, and specifically, um, I mean, we're going to change the color of it, so we can just do normal glass. Um, so you will drag this up into in this design. Okay, so that's the first part that's kind of awkward. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this drop down and find body one, okay, for our glass. And I'm going to drag this all the way over until it highlights body one. All right, and now it is glass. Okay, great. Thing is, um, on the in the room, if it's if it looks like that, in fact, you're just going to see the wood behind it. So it uh, doesn't really look that great with the way I had us create the walls. So what we'll do now is we will go to modify. Um, appearance and it'll come up eventually um, all right so then we want to find paint all right and I'm gonna do uh, powder coat smooth and I want the one that is white all right so right here and you'll have to download it all right so I'm gonna click download it's eventually gonna show up in here or maybe it won't. Okay, it's, it's done downloading. So now I need to drag it in here. All right. And from here, again, I'm going to drag it all the way over to body one. All right. So good. Now it is there. Uh, we are good. All right. So um, I can close this window. Um, ha, ha window. And uh, we're going to get back to putting the pane on here, the, the window pane. So uh, we're going to deactivate this by activating the window. Okay. And you'll notice, yeah, you can see the glass in there now. Um, so we're going to create a new sketch, extrude it the other direction than we did the glass, and that will be our window pane. Okay, so go to Create Sketch. Right, click here. And frankly, we could have actually just edited the sketch we already had, but I've already got this started. So um, I'm going to do a few things here. One is I'm going to borrow, uh, let's see, by projecting some of the... Um, like lines that are already on here. All right, so project or include. So we want to project, you'll see why in a sec, these lines here on the very outside. Okay, so just a hover until they highlight those very outside lines, click them, and then those will be projected in here. All right, so um, now that we've projected those in, we're going to do some more rectangles, okay? Um, when you do your rectangle, you want to make sure it's on the top line, or actually this line here. Um, Let's, you know what, let's do the top line here. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, but you do not want it to be highlighted. All right, so if you see a triangle, don't do that. That's going to lock it in place in a way that we don't want. Okay, so move away until it's just on the line somewhere else. All right, and you come down, come down to the other side. All right, again, do not, if it's a triangle like that, that means it's in the middle. It's going to lock it in place. We don't want that. So just do somewhere else. All right, great. We've got one. Now we're going to make a triangle going across. All right, and I know it doesn't look good yet, but we're going to fix that. All right, so uh, I'm done making rectangles. I think I should call them triangles. Uh, click OK. And um, we just need to dimension these now. So click Dimension. If you don't see it in here, go to Create and Find Dimension inside there, Sketch Dimension. Okay, apparently you can also hit the D key on your keyboard. So let's click this. And we want to basically um, make this thing an inch across, and we want it to be in the very middle. Okay, so since I know that the width here is 40 inches. Uh, I'm going to go from the side to here, to that line. And, um, okay, we're going to use our dimensioning skills, all right? So we're not going to put the dimension on the object. We're going to make a good habit of practicing this correctly. Put it off the object. Don't put it to the side. Don't put it to the side. Put it right in the middle, all right? And uh, we want to say uh, 19 and a half inches, okay? All right. So now we'll do the same thing. It's still dimensioning. You can see the, the thing by the cursor with that other line. All right. And same thing. Don't, don't uh, put it to the side. Don't put it in the object. Put it, in fact, lined up perfectly with that other one. Not above it, not below it. Try to line it up as perfectly as you can, right in the middle. And we're going to say 19.5, enter. And there we go. There's our middle pane. Okay. So same process for the other one, except it's going to be 24 and a half. All right. So again, not on the object, bring it out, all right? Maybe roughly the same distance as the others are away. Make this 24.5, okay? 
and then do that with this one. Click on that line, click on the bottom line, line it up with the other one, bring it in the middle, and you're gonna say 24.5, all right? Even though these dimensions won't show up anywhere else, um, even if you were to make your multi-view, it's just a good habit to have them, you know, like this, more or less, all right? So, um, good, we've got a dimension, we got the way that we want it. Uh, one, another fancy thing you can do, and you don't necessarily have to, you can work around it, uh, just trim those things out of the middle. Okay, so then I'm going to click Finish Sketch. I'm going to do something 3D with it, so I'm going to go at an angle so I can make sure it's doing what I want now, all right? And um, I am going to extrude all of this, okay? Uh, we want to extrude it this direction, one inch, all right? So I'm just going to type one inch in here, but don't, don't hit Enter after you type in the one, all right? in this case, negative one, because we want to make sure we don't want it to cut, all right? We want to make sure it's doing the right operation. So if you're looking over here, we want to change this to join, and it's going to join to the other body that we have. Okay, that's what they call it. So I'm going to say, okay, it's done. Uh, last thing is, we don't want a default material. We want to make this its own material. So go to Modify, Physical Material. Um, same thing, uh, well, okay, let's find the material first, and then I'll go over that other part. Uh, so we want to go to the wood. Uh-oh, the uh, little recording box is in my way. Okay. Cherry, so I'm going to drag Cherry into this box. So we have to do this. is a, one of the only times on Fusion I'm aware of where we have to do dragging. It's, it's a little weird um, workflow. And then I'm coming over here, bodies. I want body one to be visible, okay? And I'm going to drag the Cherry all the way to body one. All right, check it out. Look at that. We've got our window pane uh, with the glass on the back, okay? Very cool. So um, at this point, you will click Save. All right. Uh, you can leave it as user saved. All righty. And now we're going to go to your room. Okay. And I've already got a couple in here. Um, I don't like those joints being on, so I'm just going to turn off the visibility. Ooh, that looks nicer, doesn't it? Uh, and you only have to put two in your room. You can pick which walls you want them on. All right. Um, but um, I'm going to add a third just so I can show you what that process was like. All right, so remember, you'll have to add two. I'm going to just show you adding one. So I've got the room, and I'm going to come over to uh, window three or window. So that's my new window. Um, I'll just stick with the old one I was doing. So I'm going to right-click, insert into current design. All right, and we're going to have to do a few things here. Okay, um, so let's see. Can I drag this away? Yes, I can. Um, so before, so drag the whole thing away so it's, not touching this at all, and, and you'll see why, okay? So once you got it in a good place, click OK. Hopefully I can get this in in the next couple minutes when this video runs out. We need to make this one unit. Otherwise, when you go to move it, you'll notice it'll pull apart, and that'll get really annoying. Okay, so here's how to avoid it, all right? Uh, or to redo it if you did it and you're having problems. Uh, now that it's here, I need to make this a rigid group, all right? So I can do that by, well, let's see. Uh, I'm going to do this a little differently, and I'm going to say cancel. I'm going to just select it by clicking select, and this is why it can't touch the other things, because it would make that a rigid group if that was involved. So I'm going to say rigid group. Oh, didn't like that. Try that again. And we're going to say yes, okay, and now when I go to move this, the whole thing will move. All right, um, so the last video will be about how to join it. Uh, I'm going to end this real quick and then just show you how to join it correctly.